Okay, so, why is the Marvel movie bad? I've been surfing on YouTube, looking at all the YouTubers, talking about all the political stuff and all the SJW stuff, getting a little bit over-excessive in Hollywood, and I 100% agree. If you don't like the movie because of all the political stuff and the thing that Brie Larson said about white guys, even though they're the main demographic, it's not meant for them, that kind of got under my skin a little bit, but... I saw the movie anyways just to see, is it just a bunch of YouTubers trying to hate pile on one thing just to get this whole cycle of hate going on in the comment section and to be a little bit inflammatory so that there are more views on their channel? Because that seems to be the thing that gets you more views as well as staying current and staying relevant to what's happening now. It's more about hype towards things that are happening now. Like I said in my previous video, it's all about the buzzword. Everybody wants the newest and latest and greatest thing and to either complain or to praise it. I think for me, praising stuff hasn't really gotten me as much views as I wanted because I have a biased opinion. I'm indoctrinated by Pokemon, but this isn't about Pokemon. This is about something that I'm not really indoctrinated on, on superhero movies in general. The way I see it, if you take away the political agenda what do you have now? I think you just have a regular Marvel movie. You have the same cringy, forced social situations that Disney has kind of tried to implement. Disney's gotten very formulaic lately with all of their movies, Star Wars and Marvel alike, and the hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes are very generic and plain, and there's not really diversity in combat. I guess it looks cool and it could be easily corrected with CGI as we've seen with Star Wars Episode Eight. Other than that, to me that's to be expected for any Disney made film is that it's going to be cheesy and generic and it's going to follow a formula and that's all of Disney. That's not even just the action movie genre that Disney has licensing over. Disney with princess movies, they got a formula. Pixar movies, they got a formula. You know, live action movies, they got a formula. Their sitcoms, they got a formula. I don't know if it's just Disney or if it's just Hollywood in general and people are bored. I get that perception. I wouldn't blame the whole political agenda and get those two confused. If you didn't like the movie because it's too formulaic, I understand the boycott. If you don't like the movie because of the political thing, boycott something you don't like. I'm not on either side of the spectrum. I'm just here to say this is a Marvel movie. It's a large corporate entity that's disconnected from society. Think of it like this. Let's say you have the money and resources and all the power in the world to discredit, dismantle, dismiss, deplatform, and humiliate anyone that doesn't agree with you. Then after a while, that creates an environment where, although there might be diversity of ethnicity, race, culture, etc., there's not diversity of thought. And that's why there's a disconnect with the public. If you're an indie developer of any kind, I think that's better content because it comes from the heart. It comes from the soul. It's not a formulaic thing. It's somebody trying to innovate something new. And don't get me wrong. Hollywood, Disney, all that stuff, they always want to innovate, which is awesome. But I think it's a lot more of a slow process than a small handful of people with a smaller budget, a better sense of reality, and people around them and in their life experiences, there will come a time when the independence, where everything is independent. I mean, we're seeing it happen now with independent media, um, you know, independent content creators on YouTube, independent journalists. I love that. I want more of that. I, I understand large corporate entities paying off other websites to censor information that might discredit them because ultimately they're trying to make money. It's corrupt, it's nefarious, but that's just the name of the game. If you want to survive, you need to make money and you need to understand people. And you're not going to understand people through just data. I get that. Take all that away. Take away the political stuff that I think is funneled by some echo chamber that's happening out in the in the very far left. You take out 
the the sloppy CGI and fight scenes, you know, with hand to hand combat. You take that out and you take that into consideration. Okay, maybe they're trying to save a couple bucks and allocate it to somewhere else. What do you have? You have a Marvel movie. In my opinion, was good. By good, I mean it's like any Marvel movie I've seen before. It's nothing new, nothing different. It was predictable like any other Marvel movie I've watched. I'm not entirely emotionally invested in Marvel. I'd say if you're 100% emotionally invested in Marvel, the comics, all of that stuff, I would take all this stuff with a grain of salt. But also, if you're 100% a purist with everything has to be done by the comic book, then that's ridiculous. That's not creativity, that's recreativity. It doesn't really give much of a creative outlet for film producers. I understand you don't want to completely throw a wrench in everything that was created by someone else, but you also don't want to be stale and predictable and just do some kind of a copy and paste of a story into a movie. It's one thing if it's an adaptation, it's another thing if it's a spin-off. Let me know how it was different from the movie if you saw the movie and read the comic book as well. Is Captain Marvel really different from any of the other Marvel movies? If you ask me, somebody who sees this movie franchise as a moderate fan, not really a diehard fan, not a, not so much a dedicated fan, but just somebody who looks at Marvel and sees, you know, this is a Marvel movie. You know, I don't think there's really that much of a difference. So I think that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to give my initial thoughts and reactions and response to all the rhetoric that's been going on at YouTube. So was this a good movie? Yeah, it was pretty good. Was it the worst movie? Definitely not. My advice for all of you is to watch it, see for yourself, see what is so good or bad about the movie. I mean, my opinion is just as good as the next guy's opinion, just as good as your opinion. Make sure you guys get an informed decision. If you decide to boycott it, try seeing it for free or find it for a lesser price somewhere. I hope you all have a good time and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.